Hey, Bart Miller here with Cycling Strong. So a Leadville mountain bike 100 uh, tip for you that I, I have to use. I am five foot four and about a half right through there. So super short, so I have to go to a small frame. I went with a full suspension. As most of you know, I'm riding the Scott Spark Premium. And one of the problems that I have is I do not like to ride with a backpack. So to be able to carry two water bottles was an issue for me and I had to figure that out. So what I've done is I use a, a side loading water bottle cage and I put one right here and I can get a full size water bottle here and then I turn my water bottle cage around up here and I put one right here and the reason I had to do that was because I need to pack a seat bag in the back with uh, tools and different things of that nature and air and I couldn't have the airbag and this also if I turn this around with a full size bottle it hits my back tire and it rubs every single time. I have tried every way I possibly can. Some people say, well, this is gonna rub on your legs. You know what, I have rode Leadville last year with it. It really doesn't. I mean, it, it barely touches it, but I never even notice it really. So if you're short, you need a fix for what you're trying to do, this might be the solution for you. Put a side loader on there. It, it mounts right underneath my seat perfectly so the bottle can't come out. But it's super easy actually to get a bottle out, get a drink while you're going, and it worked really well for me. So it might look funny, but it works really well. So I just throw that tip out at you if you don't have enough room in here on a smaller frame to carry two bottles, that's how you can do it. Plus carry your, uh, your bag and have a full suspension bike. If this was a hard tail, it wouldn't be a worry because then I could turn it around, carry the other stuff in the back of my kit but I'm riding a full suspension. That's why it rubs every time that I come down. So just food for thought, think about that. And uh, if you haven't went and got my Leadville 100 Mountain Bike Survival Guide, it's a book, it's on my Cycling Strong website, please do that. It took me a long time to put all this information together so that you could have an amazing ride in Leadville. And uh, check it out, support us, if nothing else, buy the book, throw it on your shelf. But I uh, would love to see you at the Leadville 100 Mountain Bike Race. And if you bring your book, I'll even sign it for you. Talk to you soon. Keep cycling strong.